have a graph like this where there are lots of accidental crossings, so there are no vertices in here. Um, so what we can actually do uh, is look at these in terms of their separate circuits, find some simple separate circuits in the graph, and imagine that you're cutting them apart, pulling each circuit apart and then splicing them together. So what I mean is you might see this triangle right here as one simple circuit in the graph. Okay, well imagine that's gone now and there are, there are some parts of the graph left. So when I separate, another simple circuit is actually right here, right? Okay, another simple circuit is this triangle right here. So in fact, this graph can be seen as three separate simple circuits uh, or three separate graphs. Now when you put them together, it can be easy to find the Eulerian circuit. What you would do is travel along your first simple circuit, let me choose a different color, from here to here to here, right? You know that's the first circuit. Well, look for the point where this simple circuit crosses another circuit. So we go along, and then when we reach here, right? Within two edges we reach this point. So we start here, travel along our first circuit, reach this one. Well, oh, this is where we actually have the pink circuit, so we start traveling that. Oh, well, at this vertex, we also hit this other teal circuit, so let's travel along that. So what, what I'm doing is every time I encounter a vertex with a new circuit, I just travel along that. And then when I come back to this vertex, I'm going to complete the pink triangle and then finish my last edge on the original circuit. So stepping backwards, you can see as I unfold this process, I'm really just unfolding parts of the circuits where they intersect. I don't know if I can redo on this, I can't, but um, that's the idea. You can actually view this graph in terms of its separate circuits and then combine them as you go along. So whenever one circuit starts, eventually there will be a vertex if the graph is connected where it hits another simple circuit. And you keep going until you, well, again, reach that vertex where you hit another simple circuit. And this one, when I reach this point, I'm not going to go back in the original circuit yet because there's no way to cross off. So I want to finish this circuit and then, just like I did before, complete the pink triangle and finish on the purple. So this is the idea of kind of cutting the graph apart and splicing it back together. Um, this is essentially the same idea as the onion skin algorithm. All right, hope that helped.